Hey guys, before today's video, I'd like to thank Kakao Games for sponsoring this episode. Distera is a brand new upcoming action survival game that plays like a futuristic first-person shooter. You'll find yourself on a perishing Earth solo or with your friends gathering materials, terracite, and everything you can to craft tools, build bases, and survive. Team up with your squad and dominate landmarks with high-tech futuristic weapons, develop your own tactics, and work together to survive as long as you can. Distera will be having a closed beta test for two weeks starting on July 6th. If you guys are interested in participating, be sure to click my link down below in the description box and add the game to your Steam wishlist. The early access code will only be provided to a select number of players who are interested in the game, so be sure to add it to your wishlist quickly. It only takes a second to get your spot before it closes. Once again, I'd like to thank Kakao Games for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's get into the episode. I used to have an empire, you know. I was king of the world. All the coochie in the planet was mine. The coochie empire, they called it. Until she, until she rose against me. She looked into my eyes, Sal. She told me to my face. She said, it's over, Roshi. Once I fire my coochie cannon, all the coochie on the planet will vanish. And I said, you crazy ass bitch. You don't know what you're doing. She insisted, Sal. She said it would all be gone, all of it. The curves, the nipples, the fat juicy bitches in the sundresses, Sal. She was willing to destroy herself in the process to see my empire crumble. She crossed the line, so I did what I had to. It was brutal. I put too much power into the sandal, Sal. After that, the coochie wars was over. But at a price, Sal. At a very steep price. It wasn't worth it. I could still hear the clapping of ass cheeks, Sal. The sound she made when my power pole popped out of her mouth. It'll never be the same again! Okay, so let me get this straight. The lore is, you had a coochie empire, your favorite thought rebelled against you, she built a giant coochie cannon that caused a war, and you brutally killed her with a sandal. That belonged to Jesus Christ, yes. Right. Uh, I don't get paid enough to animate that, so... We are lost out at sea. Great! Now what? We could go to that creepy island over there. Could we fucking not? Come on, could we fucking not? Don't be a wimp, Kermit. There is nothing that you can do to make me go to that... I hate you. <laughs> Goddamn kids I'm alone! Is that a frog? You butter frog to my land? Do you know what we do to frogs around here, boy? Ah, uh, embrace them with kindness? You ever see a flashlight before? So, we need to get the fuck out of here! Kermit, for all you know, the guy could just need a friend. A friend? The only person that I trust is my turtle. Oh, that's a fucking rock! Shut up, Kermit, you'll piss him off! What Kermit means to say is that he likes your turtle. Eh? What turtle? And we're fucked. This guy's crazy. Crazy? I'm not crazy. Oh, no. You're both safe here. You have nothing to worry about. So, uh... Do you get a lot of guests on the island? Eh? Who, me? Oh, no. I haven't had a guest in ages. Uh-huh. So, I think that's a corpse. Shut up, Kermit. I want to live. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll just, uh, pretend it doesn't exist. Yes, sir. I'm just an innocent old man who spends his time channeling his inner peace. Speaking of which, would you two excuse me for just a second? Uh, yeah, sure. 
So we're gonna die. We are not gonna die. The old man doesn't seem that bad, actually. Are you kidding me? I'm serious, Kermit. The guy just seems like a normal, crazy-ass old man. Not a psycho killer. So there I was, back to back with Jesus. Sal, I thought of a plan. Great, tell me now before he gets distracted. All right, you see his drink over there? Since we're all drinking, when he wasn't looking, I slipped a drug into his beer. Once he drinks it, it'll knock him out cold for three days, then we get our asses out of here. All right, lit. Never have I seen a Mexican throw a sandal so fucking fast in my life. But I killed 657 prostitutes that day. Yes, sir, it went down in history as the Coochie Wars. All right, boys, bottoms up. So, how you feeling? I feel great. What about your friend? Huh? Why, hello there, Shell. Ah, shit. What do you want, Roshi? I didn't know you owned a restaurant. Roshi, this is a mini-mart. Fantastic! I'd like to purchase one of your firearms. And this lube. Okay. So, I don't know if I should be more afraid of the non-sponsored Big Mac, or the fact that you're trying to purchase a firearm and lube at a mini-mart that you think is a restaurant. Well, shit, don't just stand there. Ask me why. I would prefer not to. Go ahead. Can I not? Ask me why. Can I not? Damn young people. Always abusing the elderly. I'll have you know that I fought in wars. Yes, sir, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, fuck, please don't. There I was. God damn it! Back to back with Jesus. Babble in my right hand. Machine gun on the left. Ready to bless these holy thoughts with our divine sauce. I hate you. I was down to my last clip, so I yelled at Jesus from across the orphanage. I said, Jesus, I need a melee weapon. Never have I seen a Mexican throw a sandal so fucking fast in my life. But I killed 657 prostitutes that day. Yes, sir, it went down in history as the Coochie Wars. Why do you people like this guy? All right, boys, the time to test our sexy has finally arrived. Wait, what? I, I thought we were all gathered here for drinks. I came here for the fan service, actually. I love it. It's the only reason I subbed. And now we're demonetized! Thank you, Kermit! We're here for the sole purpose of finding Coochie. Eh, no thanks. I prefer the single life. My last relationship didn't turn out so well. Oh, come on. You can't stay single forever, Kermit. You're gonna end up like Roshi. Old as shit, stranded on an island with horrible internet. Excuse me? Don't act surprised. We know you're full of it. God damn it, I can bag anyone here. Oh, really? Damn right. Cap. I'm serious. Then show me. Uh, uh excuse me, miss... I'm not one to be straightforward, but I have to say, you have to be the finest piece of ass that I've seen all night. Thanks. So how'd it go, Roshi? I don't want to talk about it. I bet you he got the surprise penis. I got hit with the surprise penis. Hold it! You know, as fun as this camping trip has been, don't you think that we should, you know, try reviving Kermit? You know what? Fuck you, Charlotte. Any ideas on what we should do tonight, boys? Well, we can't go fishing since I blew up the lake last time and shallot, well, shallot, shallot, so why don't you pick? Shit, I'm down. If we let him pick, we can't exactly go finding girls in the middle of the woods, Sal. You can if you have a shovel. Well, would you look at that? It's time for some campfire stories. Oh shit, I love stories. What I'm about to tell you is the legend of Shaft Holler. Damn, he even has good music! I once met a wise stranger in my travels, so very long ago now, and he told me the legend of Shaft Holler. Oh, you can't be fucking serious. And it's story time! Fuck off, Charlotte! Shaft Holler is a myth known only to a select few. Many men chase its dark secrets and perish in the process. The story goes like this. The tip of the legend himself was at the rightful place. And as the legend unleashed the full might of his shaft, he had come to a tragic end. Tell me, Cell, 
What do you think happens when she asks you to go deeper? You run out of dick. Where is your god then? Roshi, what the fuck? I'm telling you, there's a way to go deeper, Sail. A way to unleash your true girth. To go beyond the mortal's meat, Sail. You can go deeper, Sail. There's a way to go deeper. All right, Carmen, hear me out. So I think it's time that we give Shallot a budget increase. What, really? <laughs> hell no, screw that guy. Well, who the hell needs Shallot when you have the coochie master himself? Holy shit, Roshi, is that you? You're damn right, witness my glorious gains! You have permission to bask in my sexy bitch. Talk about a budget increase. We're wasting our time doing nothing, boys. Let's hit the strip club. Roshi, we can't. The hell do you mean we can't? Uh, hello? COVID-19? Well, if she's fucking 19, she's legal! Why are you killing the fucking vibe, Sal? Roshi, COVID is not the name of a stripper. It is a horrible virus. Well, I am gonna fuck that virus up. Roshi, that's not... Okay, you know what? You have fun with that. We'll see how far that gets you. Go ahead, knock yourself out. This just in. Muten Roshi saving the planet from coronavirus. Uh, this was part of his speech today that he gave alongside the president. So then, I took the virus, I grabbed it from behind, and I penetrated it with the forces of justice. You're welcome. Truly a remarkable man. I love him. He's great. He already does a better job than I do because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so we need to waste some time while we wait for All Might to get here with the pizza. Who wants to tell a story? Yeah, I'll pass. I'm a pretty boring character. Well, I got a few good tales. Yeah, no. Roshi? Uh... I'm gonna have to sit this one out, boys. I just had the worst M&Ms in my entire life. I ate like 30 of them. They tasted horrible. You mean the ones on the floor? Roshi, those were laxatives. Excuse me, what the f Why the hell would you just leave random laxatives lying on the ground? Are you kidding me? Why are you eating so-called M&Ms that you found on the ground? You make a fair point, Charlotte. But you see, I'm an old man, and I can't hear so well. So I'm gonna need you to repeat that again, but this time, say it with your chest. Uh, Eminem slap, and <sighs> I'm a boring character. You damn fucking rat! Now, if you excuse me, my sugar's low. Well, guess we have no choice. Go ahead, Kermit. Okay, I changed my mind. I want to tell a story. Yeah, no one wants to hear a story from you anymore, shall it? Boys, I'm not feeling so good. Stop eating the laxatives, you idiot! I am here! What the hell is that smell? Can I please tell my story? All right, all right. Fine. So, there was this one time that I had this idea for a campfire video where you dragged the viewer all the way to the end, only to... Oh, oh Jesus Christ! So, why are we in line at the bank? I'm in need of some cash. Since when the hell do you have money? Alright, rookie, what's your name? I go by the name Genzairo, sir. Okay, Mr. Genzairo, whatever. Your job is to keep the bank safe. Can you do that? No! Ah! Alright! Everyone freeze! This is a robbery! I have a banana, and god damn it, I know how to throw it! Is that a fucking lightsaber? Oh, my leg! My leg! Don't you get any bright ideas? Give me all the money that you have in my account! What? God damn it, you heard me! Give me my fucking money right now, or this- Oh, hey, Zell. Stop. Now this ugly son of a bitch gets it! Sir. You realize that you're robbing your own account at gunpoint. Actually, he has a banana. Banana point. I don't give a flying avocado's ball sack on a hot summer day trapped in a room with Bulba's queen from a yeast infected vagina on her period! <laughs> oh god, they threw up in my helmet. <laughs> Roshi, what the hell is wrong with you? It was the war, Cell. The goddamn coochie wars left me damaged in more ways than one. I hear the clapping of ass cheeks every time I close my fucking eyes! The goddamn war cell! 
Can we please not? There I was. God damn it. Let's fucking go, Kirby. Back to back with Jesus. Babble in one hand, machine gun on the left. Ready to bless these thoughts with our divine selves. Oh, <laughs>